yeah, I, that's a tough call. Depends on the, the situation. Last guy we're going to talk about is Patrick Baldwin Jr., a 19-year-old 6'9", 6'10", forward from Milwaukee, who, again, really focusing a lot on wings and these these players who have got that wing size who can play out there. But his numbers weren't particularly impressive. 27% shooting from three. He averaged uh, only 12 points per game. It's not like he put up gigantic defensive numbers. Um, his free throw numbers are okay, but he didn't get to the line a ton. He took a lot of threes. They just didn't go in. Um, yeah, is Baldwin, is some of that shooting stuff, which was horrendous, 34% overall field goal percentage is just horrifically bad. His true shooting was 45%. That, look, that has to obviously improve. Otherwise, he's going to end up as Kevin Knox. He needs to improve those numbers, but is there enough there with him where you go, I, I give him a pass, I'd like to take a flyer, the size is there. What can we see out of him? So I'm on the higher end of the range with him now, but he's one of the biggest ranges you'll see. Some people say not worth a first round pick based off what we saw last year. That's understandable. Uh, one stat on that is he would join. Um, so there's only been two guys ever drafted that have been picked after a college season in which they had a BPM below zero. And that was Zaire Williams and BJ Boston last year. And uh, that would be the case with Pat Baldwin last year. That's kind of just to put in perspective how ineffective he was in his lone season. Uh, he and Zaire Williams are not the same player, but I do see similarities in their circumstance. Very good high school players, underwhelmed, but they kind of have a similar skill set on the wing where some a little bit of a ball skill on the perimeter and, and can shoot it with really good size. So I'm wondering if, you know, if he gets into workouts, they see how big he is and he shoots the lights out. Could he end up being a little bit of a late riser? I don't know, but I, like I buy into the size plus the shooting. Like the shooting, it, it was not good this past year. Uh, he did play through injury, which is good to see. But, you know, if you look at just like the first half of the season, first few games, Granted, none of it was great, but he did play better early on in the season before the injury hit. And so there's still enough there. And to put in perspective, because uh, he had one of the all-time like ultimate mixed bag combine appearances and performances where uh, he had one of the worst vertical leaps ever. It was like on par with the most plodding of bigs like I think it was like only Dakari Johnson and a few other guys had worse leaping scores than he did. But at the same time, he measured 6'10 with a 9'2 and a half standing reach. And to put that in perspective, that standing reach is the same as guys like centers in the NBA, like Kai Jones, Jackson Hayes, uh, another guy in this class like Kofi Coburn. So he's like the legit size of the average center in the NBA. And I believe in the shooting, so I don't see him as like a switchy wing, but more of like a tall four that can gun it. Like think more of like a Michael Porter Jr. would be like a really, really good outcome for him. His last five games of the season, as you, you reference how he struggled towards the end, six points, two points, 13 points, five points, and eight points. So I think he was three of 24 from three across those five games. So just <laughs> everything went wrong across the end of his season. Whereas he had a game where he hit six threes in December the, December the 4th, and he had um, yeah, another yeah. two of five game, the game before that against Bowling Green. He had a two of seven game. So like not as horrific as where he hit three threes total across his final yeah. five games with a bunch of misses in there. So... Yeah, I had him at 23, just again, that size and that potential pedigree and just getting a guy that maybe be able to, you know, write off. It's only 11 game sample as well in college. It's not like he played 30, 35 games and he was horrendous through all of that. He could have gone out and shot 34% for the next 20 games if he had have stayed healthy. And then we would have had a completely different thought on where Baldwin sat heading into this draft. 